exactly before time namaskar dr saul ji namaskar good evening dr ramesh koyal vice chancellor yeah it's okay namaskar 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 professor kotecha there is a request for from some uh, vice chancellors from south india that if we speak in english that will be better sure doctor sir i will be able to do that maar dhaad aisi aisi movie se dekh kar chalte I think uh, Alok ji, we can start. Can we start? Yes, sir. Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I am Dr. Alok Mishra, Joint Secretary, Association of Indian Universities. On behalf of Association of Indian Universities, I welcome you all in. this session it is my privilege to extend welcome uh, to today's our speaker you know the world renowned uh, uh, sir not use a doctor is uh, the person is md in ayurveda but uh, sir use a bad day rajesh patocha sir is a presently uh, secretary ayush government of india uh, sir is very renowned uh, Uh, in the field of ayurveda and it was uh, also served as the vice chancellor of jamnagar university and detail uh, our secretary general madam will be introduce uh, further uh, today is uh, our president elect to the chair for the session pandal dr g thirumizgam sir and our very dynamic uh, secretary general madam dr pankaj mittal madam of uh, um, respected vice chancellors officials from various ministries who have joined us uh, today's topic uh, we all aware about this the covid 19 and this is the role of ayurveda ayush so this uh, the schedule for 30 minutes lecture followed by question and answer session for next 25 minutes this program is live on facebook and youtube and uh, most of investors allowed to join i also wish to many call to allow to join uh, i would request all participants to switch off the mic can you raise your hand if you have any question and unmute yourself one at a time i now invite uh, honorable secretary general madam uh, of ai dr pankaj mittal madam for official welcome thank you dr mishra thank you very much a very good evening to all of you namaste from me and aiu hope you and your loved ones are safe and in good health i on my behalf and on behalf of presentation of indian universities welcome you all and especially vaidya rajesh patocha ji secretary ayush to today's session on covid 19 the role of ayush you know that you know that we are passing through a unprecedented situation during the pandemic time and we need to fully understand the covid-19 virus its symptoms treatment prevention and many other related issues to combat its impact therefore aiu has started meet the doctor series under which we have met many allopathic renowned doctors like dr naresh trehan md medanta dr jc suri director portis he was earlier with subdarjan hospital dr randeep guleria whom you see almost every day on the television he is director aims and then we also met policy makers and researchers on covid for example dr balram bhargav dgicmr and dr somya swaminathan chief scientist who so all these sessions were a huge success and were very much liked by our vice chancellors so far we have been talking about the symptoms treatment management of covid and how to prevent it from the allopathic point of view 
We also learned about national and international measures and policy decisions being taken to reduce the impact of COVID. This week, we have an expert from the field of Ayurveda to answer your queries on preventing and treating COVID through Ayurveda and the role which Ayush is playing in managing the COVID-19. I, I would like to inform you that this is the last lecture of the Meet the Doctor series. Today is the last lecture and very soon we'll be coming out with another series of lectures for you on another topic of common interest to our Vice Chancellors. Uh, I, like, I would be inviting Dr. Kotecha, but before I invite him, please allow me to share with you a brief background of Dr. Kotecha. Padmashiri Vaidya Rajesh Katocha is presently the Secretary Ministry of Ayush Government of India. He prefers to call him Vaidya instead of doctor. Most of the Ayurvedic doctors call themselves doctor, but sir prefers to call himself Vaidya. So Vaidya uh, Rajesh Katocha. So he did his MD in Ayurveda from Gujarat Ayurveda University, Jamnagar in 1991. Vedya Rajesh Katocha has many publications to his credit. He has written a very book, very good book called A Beginner's Guide to Ayurveda, which gives an insight into Ayurveda in a very, very simple language, which can be understood even by a common man. Vedya Rajesh Katocha was awarded Padmashri by the President of India in 2015. He has been an active member of various research councils and advisory boards, committees of many institutions, organizations in the field of Ayurvedic education. He is a very, very sought after person in the field of Ayurvedic education. And also when we are talking of integrated medicine, so he is doing a great deal of work in how to promote integrated medicine and like one country and one nation and one medical system. That sort of a slogan is being given. And before joining as secretary to government of India, Ministry of Ayush, he was also the vice chancellor of Gujarat Ayurveda University, Jamnagar, and has been working as the chief consultant of Chakrapani Ayurvedic Clinic and Research Center in Japan. Thanks, Vedya Kotochaji, for agreeing to our request and for being with us today. Uh, before I invite Professor Katocha, may I request Professor Thiru Asagam, who is the president-elect AIU. He is right now the vice president. From 1st of July, he will be taking over as the president of AIU. And for the information of Professor Katocha, uh, Vedya Katocha, I should say, sorry, uh, the president of AIU is the senior most vice chancellor of the country. That means the person who has served maximum number of years as a vice chancellor in the country. So Professor Thiru Basagam is our proud president who will be joining on 1st of July. So may I request Professor Thiru Basagam to say a few words before I formally invite uh, Vaidya Patochaji. Thank you, sir. Over to you. Good evening to every one of you. Uh, beloved and respected uh, Dr. Pankaj Mithal, our Secretary General of AAU, the coordinators of this program, Dr. Alok Mishra, and our chief guest who is going to give you a special address today, Vaithya Dr. Rajesh, the Secretary of the Ministry of Ayush, and uh, learned Honorable Vice Chancellors of uh, various universities of India. Uh, Dr. Vaithya Rajesh, we are very proud of to you and about uh, the Ayurvedic medicine today. As uh, well aware of that, now, especially India is facing a very big, uh, uh, I mean, pandemic situation in which most of our people are going to government hospitals. And of course, high school number of people are also going to private hospitals. As far as cost and the satisfaction of the treatment are concerned, our people are very happy about the treatment which are being given by the doctors of Ayurvedic and the hospitals of Ayurvedic. As a matter of fact, when people are going to private hospital, though we have a lot of restrictions by government not to charge too much, they are spending several lakhs for a period of two or three days. Whereas, a patient goes to the Ayurvedic camp, they are not at all spending even a single pie. Of course, they are getting treatment not only for physical, but also for mental. The recovery rate is also almost 100%. Really, we are very much 
uh, inducted to Ayurvedic medicine and the way in which the Ayurvedic doctors are giving treatments. I am from Tamil Nadu. I am get, getting uh, information about a uh, lot of about uh, the way in which the uh, treatments are being given and at the same time how the doctors are very much very much lenient and patient towards uh, patients thank you doctor but uh, what i have the regret the recognition and uh, importance given to ayurvedic medicine is not as par with allopathic medicine both by government but by the public also so it's a right time doctor Vaithya Rajesh, please come out and tell why the Ayurvedic medicine is not being given much importance as far with allopathic medicine and what way it is advantages when compared with allopathic medicine. We will be much happy to listen your speech and I am also eager to listen along with other fellow wine chancellors. Thank you very much indeed for the opportunity. Over to Dr. Vedya Rajesh Katojaji. Please, you can start. Floor is yours. Thank you so much, uh, Professor uh, Pankaj Mitalji. Actually, uh, the platform of AIU is not new for me. Uh, uh, I was uh, the governing council member when I was vice chancellor in Gujarat. And uh, I have participated in a lot of meetings of AIU when I was uh, in Chamnagar. Uh, respected the president elect, uh, uh, Professor Saab, uh, Professor Pankaj Mithalji, Dr. Alok Mishra, all uh, respected honorable vice chancellors and dear participants. Uh, today, al already the, the, uh, the agenda is set by honorable president elect that what I am supposed to, <laughs> supposed to tell. But what I, mean, I will try that this is an August audience. So I should, I should uh, make sure that I also speak about science, about the researches, what has been done, some uh, evidences, etc. Um, I have an agenda also while speaking with vice chancellors that I, I want our vice chancellors to, you know, to, to look at this possibility, youth possibility of you know, indulging into the vast opportunity of researches into the area of uh, Ayurveda, biology, and uh, other areas of uh, our Indian knowledge systems. So that is also one of my agenda. So thank you for providing me this opportunity. And now I want to share uh, my presentation. Uh, Alokji, can you can you help me because uh, from here I, I I don't think I will be able to share because if you uh, have the presentation so with you, we will give you sharing rights. Sir, so may, may I share your presentation? Sir? Yes, Shiva. You can share. Okay, so today we are going to speak about role of Ayurveda or Ayush. Actually, when we talk about Ayush, it is uh, something more than Ayurveda. Uh, recently, we were able to uh, convince our Shabdavali Ayog of Ministry of Education to include a definition of Ayush. And uh, so that we come out from this acronym of Ayush, that is, earlier it was, it was mentioned like Ayush means Ayurveda, Yoga, Naturopathy, and together Yunani, Siddha, Homeopathy. But then it also has limited the scope of other uh, traditional medicines like Sova Rigpa or Naturopathy was not mentioned. So uh, recently uh, this, this is amended and it, uh, it actually name of the ministry is also amended from, from acronym to name Ayush because the definition was is now published as Ayush means Traditional Indian medicines, which includes Ayurveda, Yoga, Naturopathy, Yunani, Siddha, Sovarikpa, and Homeopathy. So, uh, so all these traditional medicines are included, in, and Homeopathy is not traditional, but is also part of Ayush. 
so today i will be going to speak about the role of ayurved or ayush in the uh, management or mitigation of covid 19 primarily i will speak a lot about ayurved because ayurved is a, is a major component of of uh, the mitigation it is it's, a, it's spread all over the india uh, may i have the next please <clears throat> so um this is initiative i will not read out everything because I, i i hope that it's visible in all of your screens but ayush ministry from the beginning uh, was very uh, very much active into uh, the country's larger effort uh, of mitigation and prevention and and the management of covid 19 right from issuing advisories to uh, man, uh, or, or constitution of the task force for uh, you know helping us to guide us for the research and uh, be designing different type of, types of studies etc so uh, it started in the end of march last week of march when honorable prime minister has convened a vc meeting with all stakeholders of ayush and they include practitioners manufacturers uh, academicians researchers and uh, in that meeting he actually uh, have categorically mentioned that we have a lot of expectation from you he he also set a tone he said that uh, this is a new illness so nobody know about that so you people and allopathic fraternity all are the same uh, at the same footage so you prove yourself so that was a, a, a kind of challenge also so we we have we actually worked hard and then taken on board all of the stakeholders all states state governments and all researchers academia all of all of us came together and uh, we have established a project management unit we have also industry facilitation we have uh, in instituted a lot of training program for ayush human resources to 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 deploy to be deployed by states into the uh, management of uh, covid we also uh, have instituted you know in not only in the to task force but we have uh, successfully initiated At, at least 120 to different types of studies and uh, we were able to issue self care guidelines we were able to issue guidelines for the practitioners for the ayurveda yunani's as every practitioner has their specific guideline to their uh, specific uh, expertise and uh, also uh, ayush has offered utilization of hospitals and colleges for the covid care center or covid hospital so is an all out effort from this sector establishment of fever clinics were very specific on all our hospitals we have opened fever clinics immediately and uh, you may be aware that honorable prime minister has mentioned this on several occasion about uh, taking ayush kadha or following ayush guidelines and in man ki baat also he has mentioned couple of times and in last talk in addressed in address to nation also he mentioned at least three times about ayush interventions next please <clears throat> uh public health advisories for example you know i i was mentioning about that so most important was self care guidelines self care guidelines we were able to issue immediately it was based on experiential evidences and and empirical evidences because those empirical evidences were uh, that we knew that these these measures were you know useful for the flu like symptoms ild like uh, influenza influenza like illnesses but nobody knew that it worked it works on covid but because it was very much helpful uh, uh, there was a probability that it may help so we have issued the self care guideline it was very very popular we have uh, translated it to it, it into it as long as more than 12 foreign languages and it was uh, very highly used by you know all over the world all over the globe it was very highly appreciated what we did at the same time we started some pre clinical some uh, um, um, and um, in vivo in vitro some clinical studies also on these self care guideline candidates so that we we are able to actually uh, uh, tell for sure that this works or this do not work at the same time we have uh, a, a dynamic kind of advisory so we have revised advisory every two months or three months and uh, uh, also recently for example mucormycosis came in so we have also information from the practitioners how to deal with this if if they come to homeopathy or ayurveda practitioners home care guidelines for children also we have recently issued 
so it is all a dynamic process with the help of lot of academia institutions researchers and practitioners so uh, and this this was very highly received and very highly appreciated next please uh, these are the snapshot of different guidelines as i just mentioned uh, next please uh, <clears throat> about the human resource recently um, earlier also we have advised the states to use human resources and facilitated training but recently uh, on 7th of may because it was the height of second crisis second wave so we have in the consultation with uh, all authorities and consultation with uh, health ministry also and states also we have advised this advisory to the states how to use this uh, ayush professional so um, and infrastructure so we we are in visualizing that for any crisis at any given point of time at least 200000 ayush professionals should be available for next crisis so we are actually training them and all these things are going on a work putting basis and there are 50000 beds additional beds which were not used for covid so we were offered this and and now we are actually you know making all these things ready if anything any crisis comes in they are all available next please <coughs> augmentation of human resource i i, I just mentioned uh, and, and and states have they actually states have uh, uh, had deployed more than 40000 professionals as of now but we have around 200000 professionals uh, trained and we have 8 lakh 32000 uh, registered practitioners available so it's a huge human resource and uh, there is a group uh, there is a empower group in government of india and i am also member of that and this empowered group is is specific to uh, developing and and standardizing human resource so th this human resource are now augmented being augmented and trained as per the uh, uh, you know looking at future any type of future crisis next please uh, this is a very very important development that uh, in october 2020 this national clinical management protocol based on iwe the new york for management of covid was uh, released it was in consultation with all stakeholders actually it was vetted by uh, icmr's uh, national clinical uh, icl icmr's national management task force of covid 19 so it has all best best uh, experts of the country like uh, the parties the earlier experts of this uh, lecture series dr guleria dr balram bhargav ji and all those they were on boarded and it was prepared with uh, all available evidences all uh, you know empirical evidences and and it is similar the process was similar to to finalize the treatment protocol as as taken up into the allopathic side and this this guideline actually has helped uh, so much that i will be com in coming next i will be mentioning that we had an impact assessment study and we found that there is a huge huge uh, acceptance of ayush modalities across the country next please uh we also have uh, we have a research portal i use research portal we have more than 25000 pubmed indexed uh, and peer review journals uh, um, um, posted on this website and it is a, in a searchable format we have a dedicated a separate uh, section of covid related research into this portal i request all the vice chancellors to visit this this is a kind of a, an index uh, like a pubmed index of, of our indian origin of the ayush publications so we, it is it is usually said in 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 a informal con conversations that you people do not evidence evidences you all, only talk a lot and you claim big thing but you you should generate evidences but when you look at this 25000 publications is not a small number and uh, when when you Uh, curate it then you find that at least at least 30% of these publications are are very very valuable very highly valuable uh, and done in a very good scientific spirit next please uh, this is a dashboard on our website you can see that we have uh, i use drugs and medicine section where availability and and circulars about uh, preventing claims and and a facilitation to industry etc there is a support we have a dedicated support number also which is very popular uh, we have in 3 weeks at least 100000 people called on this uh, support number uh, research 
references, guidelines, related links, all this is available on our website. Next, please. This is very interesting initiative that we work with Delhi Police and Delhi Police uh, were given all 80,000 Delhi Police professionals. Uh, they were given this Ayuraksha kit. This kit was uh, having Chaban Prash and then Giloy, Giloy tablet and Anutel for application on Nostril uh, and Ayush Kada. Uh, they, it was for prophylactic uh, purposes and they were all frontline warriors. And what we found over the period of three months uh, that now we are giving them again. But at that time, it, this is during first uh, crisis. Now, again, we have given 80,000 uh, professionals. And what we found that their incidence rate came down four times uh, in two months. And we followed them for another two months and the trend continued. We also saw that uh, even if they were infected, their mortality rate was were almost one third as compared to the Delhi population, control population. So this is a very, very good, you know, observation study on this much of big cohort. And uh, we, we have tried to convert it into, you know, as, as you know, a seva of police in, into the, uh, you know, a very good scientific study. Uh, next, please. State, there are a lot of states who, have, who were onboarded and state also did a lot of good things. Like in Gujarat, 50,000 plus people in quarantine were given IUS intervention at all documented. In Tamil Nadu, our honorable president-elect is from Tamil Nadu. He said that I'm aware. And in Tamil Nadu, Siddha medicine is very popular. Kabasura Kudini medicine is very, very highly used in prophylaxis. And as per government of Tamil Nadu, all of the people suffering from COVID, they were receiving. Uh, even if they are in allopathic hospital, they were receiving this Kabasura Kudini. In Rajasthan, in Telangana, in Delhi, uh, Haryana, Goa, Punjab, Chhattisgarh, uh, all those places, all these, uh, there are so many more states, but I'm just mentioning few. Next, please. Uh, some, uh, this, is, this is some uh, interesting statistics that uh, we have called COVID Health Center, only uh, Institute of Ayurved. And uh, this, this data, because, uh, because latest data, we were not able to comply, com uh, to compile because we are just out of this second wave. This is uh, before before second wave. This is the data up to uh, up to 11 5th of uh, November, and you can see that uh, out of 432 402 patients complete completed the treatment. Few patients opted to go out, or few patients were referred, but none of them died. It is a zero percent mortality. 99 percent of people got RT PCR in 10 uh, negative RT PCR in 10 days. The important observation is that 94% of people uh, who have admitted that they opted for standalone Ayurveda treatment they, by their wish. Because in the COVID care center, as per the standard guidelines, there was allopathic doctors also available. If they, if they require any allopathic treatment, standard treatment, they, those treatments were also available. But 94% of people, they opted that uh, they wanted to have only Ayurveda treatment. And all of these 94% people who have opted for, they all recovered. None of them uh, got any referral, and uh, uh, this is a, in uh, in a graphical manner. I'm I'm explaining. There is one interesting fa uh, factor that I want to mention that the healthcare professionals who were exposed to this this COVID care center uh, by rotation they were 300 odd number of healthcare professionals is uh, include all all levels safai wala se lekar ke all nursing and and all doctor and paramedics all. And uh, we have we were able to make sure that none of them got infected. So this is one of the very rare thing that no health professionals in this facility got infected from COVID. Next, next please. Uh, in this is another example. We all know that in Delhi there is a Sardar Patel COVID care center. It was erected by ITBP. And uh, Irada Swami Satyang, Satyang Bias, it was, you know, it is being run. It is still there. Now there is very less number of patients are there. So in first, first wave, they were able to treat more than 12,000 uh, patients, around 12,000 patients. And uh, you can see these statistics. There is zero mortality. Only 332 patients out of 12,000, they have to refer. But all of them, all these 332 recovered. No 0% mortality. And... Uh, uh, they were they were 
using this integrated protocol so they were getting standard of care uh, as per the allopathic uh, you know guideline but they were all receiving yoga intervention in the morning they were all receiving haldiwala do this turmeric milk at night they were all receiving chavan prash and ayush kada and naturopathy based diet so this is a very good example or a very big cohort that uh, this is possible to achieve and then uh, Uh, we we were in constantly in touch with uh, these uh, people and then we were able to uh, also help them to achieve this very high uh, you know kind of success rate next please uh, clinical trials you know the, on the, if you see a clinical trials registry this is an old data because uh, recently recent data we are compiling but why i opted for the old data because there is a publication this publication is indian journal of clinical biochemistry and uh, in this journal there is a there is an uh, there is a paper published by the scientists from aims jodhpur and they compiled uh, the uh, the ctri registry and they found that out of 200, 203 trials 61% of these trials actually from ayush and uh, this shows that you know ayush uh, area got a lot of attention a majority of research is in our country have happened in the area of ayush next please uh, as far as uh, the research initiatives taken i i have i was mentioning that we had a, a interdisciplinary task force and this task force was chaired by professor bhushan patwardhan he is still chairing task force is still there and uh, he he was the vice chairman of ugc and now he is a national ayush national research professor at ayush based at pune so we did some some therapeutic treatment studies like randomized trials clinical trials prophylactic studies experimental studies and retrospective observance studies so we found some like in sardar patel for example so we we did retrospective studies also so next please uh you can see that uh, out of this 122 these are the statistics prophylactic 41 surveys and others 10 total studies 122 treatment like randomized trials 38 observations 11 pre clinical studies we were able to to do with icmr uh, national institute of nutrition or dbt thsti institute so 22 studies if you see different uh, sector wise the ayurveda uh, is major but then you can see a lot of studies in homeopathy yunani siddha and yoga also next please uh, this is very in- interesting outcome of all, all these studies IU64 there was there, there was a there is a medicine uh, central council for indian medicine uh, in central council for research in indian medicine uh, they have developed IU64 years back for the treatment of malaria and uh, later it was found to be very much useful for ild uh, influenza like illnesses there were some publications about that so this drug was already uh, with all safety studies and all preclinical studies and and uh, you know Uh, in vivo in vitro studies so we we decided to repurpose it and we have t- collaborated with csir so see C- ayush csir collaboration uh, we have started a lot of randomized trials on four candidates one of the candidate was ayush 64 another is ashwagandha for the prophylaxis uh, ust madhu that is glyceriza glabra we call it muleti also and guduchi giloy so uh, ayush 64 was is one one among the you know which came out first because we started very early and uh, it was uh, 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 this study where where we found that this this particular drug is very much useful for asymptomatic mild and mo- up to moderate patients of covid-19 and what is the best part of it that if somebody takes it as a stand alone or as a as a uh, adjuvant to the standard of care uh, it is uh, it is useful that patient recover very fast they become negative very fast and their chances of going to advanced stage becomes minimal that that actually that is very important because they don't require most of them don't require oxygen they did not require critical care so that uh, they were able to actually stay home and uh, uh, recover very fast so we have recently launched it and uh, uh, what we did that it it's it's not a contribution of ayush sector or only it was a collaborative work with all scientists a lot of medical colleges were involved for this randomized trial because it's a multi center trial it was very scientifically done robust trial 
It was driven by Dr. Avin Chopra, who is a very famous rheumatologist of the country. And uh, uh, the participating institutions were KGMU, University, BHU, Nag Nagpur Medical College, uh, Gujarat uh, GG Medical College of Jamnagar. So there are so many, actually, I'm, I'm mentioning few, but there are so many, PGI Chandigarh also. So all those uh, studies, you know, because it was a multi-center trial, and we found this outcome. And then it was endorsed by Professor Katoj. Dr. Katoj, he is the former secretary DHR and BG ICMR. So we made a committee of overseeing this and they were overseeing everything. There was a data safety management board is a third party, uh, you know, uh, evaluators headed by Dr. Nandini Kumar, who is the pioneer of uh, ethics in our country, medical ethics in our country. So top, Top most people were involved into this exercise and we found this very useful. Next, please. Uh, it was launched formally and uh, what we decided because it, it because uh, this came out in the middle of this crisis of second wave. So we immediately launched it along with Kabasura Kudiri because Kabasura Kudiri is a Siddha medicine, it's a polyherbal formulation. IU-64 is also made from four plants and out of these four, two are very much, very much known to us is Chirayata and Kutki. So, and there is another is Saptaparna. So, uh, Kavasura Kodinin was largely distributed in, in, in Tamil Nadu and IU-64 was distributed in all over the country with the help of states also. And we have also uh, uh, requested Seva Bharti to help us. So, all Ayush uh, hospitals, uh, Ministry of Ayush related hospitals spread across the country. We have uh, collaborated with Seva Bharti and in, in a less than 10 days of time, we were able to reach at least 1 lakh patients, all who were who are home isolation and then we uh, we also have connected it with, you know, a robust documentation through Google form and our Ayush Sanjeevani app. And we found that most of them did not uh, go into severity, they all recovered. So this is our primary uh, documentation and we are analyzing this data. Next, please. Uh, IU-64, as I mentioned, it is repurposing and uh, it has shown very promising outcomes in the management of asymptomatic, mild, moderate, and uh, it is useful for patients by not going to severe state, as I mentioned. Uh, next, please. This is some, some of the, you know, uh, more details about IU-64 because it is, it is available on preprint of uh, BMJ server. It is submitted to BMJ, it is under review, and we are hoping that it will be published in BMJ. Uh, we also did molecular docking study of IU-64, and we found that out of 35 uh, compounds, 33 were you know, actually binding to the proteins of spike proteins of COVID-19. So it is one of the promising drug, and we, we, will, we will work more and more so that we can, you know, uh, for sure, we can uh, actually globally project it as a, as a medicine for COVID-19. Next, please. Uh, this collaborative study, IUCSIR, you know, I was mentioning about KGMU. This is more detailed, so I, I'm not going to everything. But uh, in KGMU, we have this uh, uh, outcome, and you can see that um, it is significant, and uh, the becoming negative is faster than the standard of care group. Uh, next, please. Also, government medical college Nagpur. You can see similar outcome. So it's an another another area, another uh, medical college. Next, please. Uh, this site is in Chaudhi Brahma Prakash uh, College of New Delhi, and uh, it is it is actually a standalone uh, and no add-on treatment uh, IU64. Uh, uh, there are uh, on the right side you can see the GG Medical College. All on all this there is a almost similar results we we were able to find. Next, please. This is the beauty of uh, the multi-center multi trials that, you know, if we find similarity, then it, it adds to the value of the outcome. This is uh, very interesting that we also worked in uh, Dhanvantri Ayurvedic College, Chandigarh. And this college has proved, it's a private college, but with the help of Chandigarh administration, we were able to uh, initiate study there. And then their results is also very outstanding. Next, please. This particular college also, we found that there is, there is no mortality. They have treated more than 1,500 patients other than this study. And it is, uh, it is very interesting that uh, there is a zero mortality. 
Also, we have this National Institute of Nutrition. We did this docking, docking study, as I mentioned. And uh, next, please. Uh, this is about uh, the Delhi police study. I was I already mentioned that uh, uh, as compared to the Delhi population, uh, it has shown uh, very good uh, you know incident, uh, decrease in incidence and mortality rate. And uh, we we found that out of eighty thousand people, ninety percent of uh, of the police persons they actually complied with the with the with the protocol. So it is it is very highly unusual that this much of cohort. And 90% of compliance on compliance on observation study is very unusual. So I just wanted to mention this. Next, please. Uh, this is something about you know the prophylactic study, one of the uh, interventions of Guduchi tablet and Sudarshan Garbati and Ashwagandha. You can see that after four weeks of interventions, uh, population in containment zones of Delhi uh, selected for that study, uh, the, the infection rate was down to or maintained to 0.01. Uh, percent, whereas the control group population went up to 1.14 percent. So you can see the gra in the graphic graph, it it just the control population went very high up, and then the the uh, study group, you know, initially it went up, then it came down. Next, please. This is a simple Ayurveda drugs for enhancing oral strength and immunity in healthcare workers. It's a, it was an exploratory study, is a prophylaxis study. And this prophylaxis study also uh, it was done on on uh, the uh, all india institute of ayurveda it, it is done on the healthcare workers of their own uh, workforce and one of the outcome is that none of the, those healthcare workers got infected in covid care center but there are some some significant also change into igg levels and you know we we also uh, have evaluated through immune status and who quality of life score and a uh, lot of other parameters next please I'm, we are about to finish. I will be. I will adhering to my time. Uh, this is a study on neem capsule. It was a randomized double blind. Double uh, uh, is like a gold standard. It's randomized double blind and placebo control trial, and it is also done by Olide Institute of Ayurveda and ESIC Hospital Faridabad. And uh, you, we we were able. We were actually surprised to see that neem neem capsules uh, works very good for prophylaxis of COVID nineteen infection. Next, next, please. Uh, we have uh, Center for Rheumatic Disease and Ayush uh, Collaborative Studies, and this is when uh, when the hydroxychloroquine was highly recommended. It was later phased out, but we did this study as a comparison of immunomodulatory effect of hydroxychloroquine with ashwagandha. We found that ashwagandha is highly effective as compared to hydroxychloroquine in the sample size of 400. Next, please. Also, um, impact of Ayurvedic formulation as an add-on to standard care of COVID-19 in tertiary hospital of Medanta. Uh, Dr. Trehan came into this group, and uh, Medanta also has helped us to, you know, to conduct a very good, very robust clinical study on on Guduchi Guduchi Pipali formulation as an add-on to standard of care. And you can see that it it has actually uh, when it was done when SUQ was uh, hydroxychloroquine was. Uh, a primary, you know, treatment into the COVID patients, and we we found that it is much 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 better, Guruji uh, people than than the, than the standard of care. It is also published in Journal of Ayurveda and Integrative Medicine. Next, please. Uh, a clinical outcome in a Samras center of Gujarat. So in this, you can see 541. Uh, it is a, is is a retrospective study. It is published in Integrative Medicine uh, Journal. Journal of Evidence-Based Integrative Medicine. And uh, you can see that uh, the people who have opted uh, in, as an add-on with the standard of care, they, they actually recovered faster and they, they, they did not have any mortality. Next, please. Uh, this is about uh, efficacy of uh, Agatsya Aritaki and Ashwagandha and yoga in long-term effects of COVID-19. And its protocol is published and, uh, and, the, and the study is now in the process of pu publication. It is a study of Government Medical College, Nagpur, and uh, and uh, Datta Mege Institute of Medical Sciences, Varda. And it's also very, very good study. And then we uh, we found that it is very eff effective, but study is still ongoing. Next, please. Impact assessment. I I, I want to spend at, at least uh, one minute time on, on to talk about this. I was mentioning that we, we had an impact assessment of how IUC is taken up by 
the population. You can see the numbers. It is uh, we have uh, we have we were able to get numbers in the tune of one crore forty seven lakh eighty nine thousand people's responses on our Ayush Sanjeevani app. Sanjeevani app was Ayush Sanjeevani app was downloaded by one point five million people, and there was there was a algorithm that doctor also the Ayush doctor also can can uh, uh, contribute by by entering the their their patients and their their uh, context details. So respondents were one point forty seven lakh. But we have publication in into journal of medical internal internet uh, internet research, which is a very high impact journal, American journal. And uh, what we did, we only uh, have worked on seven hundred twenty three thousand uh, uh, data sets because it was it was individually submitted. So uh, and then we also only used seventy four thousand physician feedbacks so out of hundred. 47 uh, crore people we we used only this uh, roughly 8 800000 data and we found because uh, we, we you know that when we we work on the large data sets we have to make sure that data is not manipulated or not biased so all exercises have been done it was monitored by data safety management board and we found that 85.1% of the respondents reported use of ice measures in their prophylaxis or treatment of covid 19 it is a huge huge it it shows the country's mood whether we accept it or not people largely uses it and out of this 85% of respondents uh, 89.8% agreed that they have benefited from the practice of advisory and uh, they 79% responded that they gave uh, they have an overall feeling of good health and uh, 63% reported improvement into their Uh, quality of life parameters so it is it is a very huge study very big study never happened like this kind of study and we found that we 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 were able to you know take the nerve of the public what they want and then now we are trying to make sure that uh, you know we get more and more ayush intervention into public health next please uh, this is uh, the graphical presentation so what i mentioned uh, next please dbt ayush network i mentioned about the study uh, 22 study one of the important study that i want to mention all these uh, plants ashwagandha guduchi guduchi people est muth ayush 64 we, we i mentioned that we were we were we did uh, randomized control trials clinical trial but we also did pre clinical for for the to to know the uh, you know actual effect as an antiviral or anti inflammatory or or immune modulatory uh, we found that all of these plants are antiviral uh, in different different proportions uh, guduchi actually is is, is having e equivalent effect of uh, remdesivir uh, there are some more plants like chiraita and kalmeg so those both both of these plants also have a, a, they are more effective than remdesivir actually and we found anutail anutail is like an oil application in the nostrils it was the advisory of self care we found that anutel instantly after after application to nostrils uh, in a hamster model we found that it reduces 95% of viral load in 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 infected uh, cell lines of hamster so now we are having a very good evidence that anutel actually prevents uh, the infection of covid 19 next please Intra that is what i was mentioning intranasal administration of anu, anu oil uh, results in low lung viral load in hamster Uh, infection model we we saw that 95% reduction uh, was uh, achieved into you know into this uh, study next please in silico study also i mentioned about in, in one of the study site is iit varanasi and uh, we also did in, in silico study for ayushvat ayushkada popularly known as ayushkada which is made from only four ingredients like ginger and uh, black pepper and uh, dalchini and uh, salt next please publication you can see that we are heading to you know a very good publications uh, until now say 57 manuscripts have been drafted 68 studies completed published eight in very good journals uh, three case reports published two study protocols published many two manuscripts are accepted for public publication and uh, 29 our scripts are under you know review process of different journals and there are 17 preprints available so this is very huge on in less in around one year of exercise next please uh, this is about documentation of iu 64 and carbodesura kudinir this is this show this mentions that what is the dosage and you know like for example iu 
should be taken two tablets two times for for asymptomatic and for mild to moderate two tablets three times a day for 20 days and same is i use uh, carboxyloquine is a decoction 60 milliliter two or three times a day uh, next please there are other r and d initiatives also and i will i will finish it very fast who i use collaborative studies also who has sponsored a study and they have selected 19 uh, it's actually uh, 10 states across the country and they, they want to as a third person perspective they want to uh, look at this you know how what is the level of integration of IU systems uh, into the national healthcare system for combating COVID-19 studies already started it is done by PHFI Public Health Foundation of India we also have inter inter interdisciplinary technical review committee so this this is headed by former professor of, of pharmacology of Ames Delhi and uh, we have a lot of claims um, like I am mentioning that 61% of uh, studies in India are IUS based. So a lot of people have completed this study. So this committee actually oversees and reviews and then uh, um, actually examines that whether the study is good or not. And uh, because publication takes time. So if, if it should come into public domain or not, they decide. So as long as now, at, at least four candidates came out as a effective treatment as an add-on to COVID-19. Then there is a core group of experts, you know, and to, to decide about formulations of prophylaxis management. And uh, we also have uh, to facilitate research. We have modif modification of extramural research scheme, and we we have supported at least forty five such projects across the country. Next, please. So uh, this is I already mentioned about you know prophylactic care prevention. Uh, management of asymptomatic. I already mentioned about, I discussed about all these things. One thing I wanted to add is yoga, because uh, I did not speak a lot about yoga, but yoga is used everywhere. And we found a lot of good uh, evidences as a prophylaxis of, of intervention of yoga during treatment also. Um, so many hospitals, with, they were hesitant to use Ayush, Ayurvedic medicine along with standard of care, but all of, uh, most of them we're using yoga intervention. And we also found a very good evidence is a post COVID management of yoga, uh, intervention of yoga, in, uh, helping them to recover faster, particularly for lung injury. Next, please. So there are some success stories in the, in the form of you know, commerce. Uh, the entire sector of Ayush uh, manufacturing sector grew by uh, 45% in one year. And that is huge. Some of the products uh, grew by 600%. Some of the products like Ashwagandha went up to three times of export. And uh, those are the you know, outcome. And we are now uh, visualizing that uh, some, of the, some of the candidates we, we are uh, projecting globally like Ashwagandha and Guduji. Next, please. Ashwagandha extract, for example, 240% it went up. And all Walmart, Costco, Nestle, Procter & Gamble, everybody has launched Ashwagandha extract based products in US. And now it is number three among all the herbal products in the, U in the USA market. And uh, our industry size became 10 billion. We, were, we had this visualization, it will become $10 billion in 2024. But uh, it, it, it became this size in 2021, beginning only. Uh, next, please. So stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I thank you for listening uh, and then participating in this, this uh, interaction. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Professor Katosh, for a wonderful presentation. It was actually an eye-opener. Till now, everybody, or actually, at least I thought that Ayurveda is mostly used as a prophylactic for prevention, not for treatment. But you have shown that it is uh, used for treatment also, especially that Ayush 64. I use, uh, I use 64. You are using for treatment and with 0% mortality rate. So very nice presentation. Thank you very much. I have some questions in my mind. I thought I'll ask first and then I'll request the vice chancellors to ask. First is, sir, I'm in, uh, I think when we talk of Ayurveda, we are mostly on the defensive. And that's why it is always Ayurveda versus allopathy. So can't we have Ayurveda and allopathy? And also, I mean, instead of being defensive, we can be offensive and say that, yes, Ayurveda is the best treatment when we have seen the results that, yes, as a prevention, also as a cure, also it is working. And then does WHO, because we, you were showing, sir, that Ashwagandha and all are being used there, 
then does who has any process of approving the ayush medicines or they are only approving the allopathic medicine and one thing which which was very strange which when we were talking to dr somya swaminathan last time one question which we asked was that uh, if we have a good immunity then the, do we have sort of a protection from uh, corona that if we have a good immunity like ayush says or many ayurvedic people say that if you have good immunity corona will not touch you but then the answer she gave was that normal immunity is good for normal things but for corona you need a specific type of immunity if you are eating something which is giving a specific immunity for corona then only you will be immune but general immunity does not mean anything as far as protection from corona is concerned so this was something very i mean i didn't know about it so i wanted to confirm is it that way or maybe the allopathic people normally keep on negating ayurveda is it that way i, I don't know so i thought i'll ask you uh thank you uh, dr pankaj ji actually uh, when we look at this uh, ayurveda versus allopathy it is actually a wrong approach we should all work together in an integrative manner the problem is that uh, there is a lack of training about uh, lack of knowledge about ayurveda to allopathic people they don't know it is not their fault because in our education system there is no dissemination of knowledge about our indian system to allopathic medical colleges so they are not absolutely not aware about uh, what is this so it is not their fault this is my first uh, reply but uh, th there are sincere efforts going on like niti aayog has as recently uh, formulated in a, a, a committee a high level committee uh, for integrative for integrative healthcare so they are formulating it to four areas it is like healthcare delivery education and public health and research so and, and it is in final stage of report writing etc so this will actually change the whole scenario because it is this committee is proposing you know some kind of you know education interaction electives for the mbba students about ayurveda and other systems so it will actually help the you know this this gap this is first answer second is that uh, popularly when we talk about integrative care um, people understand the integrative means that that you know prospathy like like ayurvedic uh, people should should be able to prescribe allopathic medicines or allopathic doctors should be able to prescribe ayurvedic medicine it is not integration integration means that best thing of all uh, you know systems should come out and and should be put into practice into public health so i have an example that uh, in last 5 years we did a wonderful uh, kind of uh, uh, an experimentation into six district districts of our country and this uh, this six districts district with the help of health ministry health officials of the state governments we did a, 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 a project on non communicable diseases and intervention of ayurveda and yoga or homeopathy and yoga or unani and yoga so we found that as an adjuvant or as an addition of these modalities lot of these people and and sample size is like roughly 2 million so 2 20 lakh logo par humne kaam kiya and we found that uh, that this intervention simple intervention reduces the burden of non communicable diseases and also help the people to have quality of life and lot of people their their own doctors allopathic doctors were happy to reduce or stop their medicines so now we are now we are taking this this into mainstream so now in new cycle of national health mission and national life mission we are working together to implement into across the country for non communicable diseases so this is an example of of integration so it it will take some time but it is happening this is one of my first reply about who actually who is having is 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 a, a body with member states of across the world so so many countries they don't have any formal system only india and china has a very good very robust formal systems of healthcare in traditional medicine so it is normal for them that they 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 take time to understand and they get it get it implemented but recently who director general in november he has announced a who global center of tradis for traditional medicine in india so so it is it, it will be hosted in india and uh, uh, it will be it will be a nodal point of researches and and standardization of education practices across the world this is one thing another thing is that we have um, proposed that there should be an uh, indian indian medicine expert posted into who headquarters and regional office it mm -hmm. is it is accepted so now our second ment is in who headquarters and our second ment is going to be deputed 
into uh, the uh, uh, into the uh, regional office. May I take an important call because it is very important. Okay. Sure. Professor Shirivastav, you want to know about Kachi Haldi, so you can ask after this no. the answers. Then Madam, I want to ask a question. Sure, sure. Please just let him finish it, the call. It, let him yes, complete yes, first yes. answer then one. It, it's a continuation of your question. <laughs> Actually, Ayurveda is doing a lot of work, but then it doesn't get publicized. And uh, they're not getting their due, I think. And many of us are using Ayurvedic remedies, even home remedies, but then they are not getting their due. It is always pegged against each other, Ayurveda. Uncle Ji, the last question I will ask you. This is the WHO. We have a question in the WHO. We have a question in the WHO. And the WHO has an application called M-Yoga. It is part of their mobile health initiative. M-Yoga application has supported the Bharat government. Our Moraji Desa Institute has made it. And it is it is for the uh, it will be available to across all member countries for the application of yoga in their own health. So, ये भी एक important aspect है कि WHO के साथ मिलकर क्या कर रहे हैं. Somya जी ने जो कहा, it is a perspective. जब हम science की बात करते हैं, तो science is a dynamic entity. आप 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 science के किसी भी किसी भी principle को आप different perspective से देख सकते हैं. तो ये तो my my reply is that that it is not it is not absolute truth. That uh, uh, specific Im uh, in the in the absence of specific specific immunity, you can not save yourself. It is not absolute truth. It is a partial truth because we have a host defense mechanism, and this host there is a lot of studies on host defense mechanism, and then there are you know enough evidences to say that if our host defense mechanism is if our host defense mechanism is good, then we can prevent ourselves or at least. Uh, uh, if, uh, if 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 at all if we are affected, we have less symptoms, or our chances of uh, coming out uh, from this crisis is in increased if if our host defense mechanism is optimized. So that is another perspective of the science that I wanted to mention. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we have three vice chancellors, four vice chancellors actually now, who are wanting to ask questions. Professor Amish Goyal, who is the vice chancellor of Delhi Pharmaceutical University. Professor S.K. Srivastava, who is vice chancellor of Dehu. Professor Mahendra Reddy, who is the vice chancellor of ICFI. Hyderabad, and Professor Siddhagora, who is the vice chancellor of Tumkur University. We will go one by one in this order. Professor Amish Goyal, then Professor Srivastava, Professor Mahendra Reddy, and Professor Siddhagora. Professor Amish Goyal, please. Uh, thank you, Dr. Pakka. Thank you, Dr. Koteja. I must compliment for uh, bringing the Ayush, the traditional Indian system, into the limelight. We are in our university, we are going to start Bifa Ayurveda, which will be an amalgamation of both modern science as well as the Ayurveda. Now, the question, see, I would like to add rather than uh, the question that in the COVID, as you, uh, my, see the, the problem was that nothing was known and people know that spike protein and I could see many things have gone and it has, uh, please mute professor SK Shirivastava. the another thing was that what we found as the as, as I as personally I was working in the renin angiotensin system and ACE2 which was a relatively newer target we found a drug and the antiviral effect was done at the University of Missouri with the extract. And we found a clear cut, not only from the docking, but the cell line Kalu 3 cells. That is the results which we got. And based on that, that formulation which we made, well, the trial which we did in the mild to moderate, our results showed that it was on day five only 6% with the standard care therapy and with our, it was 46% getting negative. 
Similarly, after seventh day, it was 89% versus 46%. So it's a dynamic Ayurved. What we got were the plants only, herbal plants. It was repurposed herbal formulations. And it was a wonderful, it is going to be coming in soon. I mean, I mean, this is what is our, but hardcore science. And this has to be accepted by the world. It's not that we are talking only on the few things. And as far as the specificity on the T cell, it was a T cells and thrombocytes. That was the reason. And my question now is that now with the second wave, the mental stress and all that has come, I'm sure I am seeing this uh, Ashwagandha is one of the important thing rather than this Swarshya Charata and all the any costume I have myself worked and it was antiviral. So how you project this uh, Ashwagandha or Giloid now with the, if we have the basis AC2 found in different parts of the body and having the different role. Thank you, Professor Goel. Actually, it is it is nice to, you know, to know this and then I'm very happy to, to reply. Actually, uh, first of all, let me compliment for, for this study, what you have mentioning. And I will request that you, if you can, you, if you can send the details, we will be happy yes. to put it up into our uh, interdisciplinary technical review committee so that it comes out for the public. Uh, yeah. Secondly, about ashwagandha, it, I absolutely agree with you. Ashwagandha is a wonder plant. And ashwagandha, we have a lot of evidences. Like years back in Journal, journal of Rheumatology, there, was, there is a very good publication about ashwagandha and its effect as an immunomodulator as compared to methotrexate as compared to HCQ, it's another publication. And ashwagandha has a lot of evidences and it is it is one of the best Rasayana drug into Ayurveda. And uh, ashwagandha uh, is more known in, in the Western countries than our country because people now, if they are aware about that, I was mentioning that is number three, uh, number three herbal supplement into US. And its global market is, is, uh, is trip, triplicated into, into one year. And we are hoping that ashwagandha is we are we actually we are willing to project we are uh, we are actually working in this direction that ashwagandha should be projected as one of the one of the best thing as an immunomodulator because we saw at the post covid also during covid also if ashwagandha is added people don't go into cytokine storm so cytokine storm is one of the thing which which our immunity become heavier and ashwagandha is a very good immunomodulator so adding ashwagandha to the treatment even for the severe patients it immediately helps the patients to come come out from the crisis. So I definitely, agree. I definitely agree with that. Ashwagandha is one of the best candidates. And initially when Ashwagandha was identified with IUCSI study, a lot of our Ayurvedic uh, doctors, you know, practitioners, they were skeptical that, that, that COVID-19 is primarily, you know, working, attacking on our, our uh, respiratory system. And Ashwagandha is never, never prescribed for respiratory illness. And why Ashwagandha is there? But then there's a lot of such the uh, scientists like uh, like uh, your caliber were involved so all of them suggested no ashwagandha should be part of our study so ashwagandha were actually studied thoroughly for the prophylaxis and we have very good results now we are, results are being compiled and i am sure that there will be some very good publications will come out from that sir just to share actually the makoy and the akalifa solanum nigrum akalifa they their constituent out of various we found the docking activity 10 plus that was never seen with anything. And another thing is that even I, mean, I have a non colocal of that because I have the scientific study is still going on in the animals. It is effective in the neuromuscular disorder, these two plants. Yes. This is something which is exciting to me, but I have to prove it. I mean, Sir. without before that, I cannot come to you. So, this is the only thing. But this is something I, what I want to convey to our vice that we have the real potential and real hardcore science also, but we have to go in a system. Sir, I want to add one thing that uh, because all vice chancellors are here. Very much. Sir. I want to add one thing that JNU has started this year an Ayurveda biology course, five-year integrated course on Ayurveda biology. So the idea is to create, you know, the basic science experts who understand Ayurveda. So that uh, we can have this fusion of you know yes. basic science and Ayurveda, so that we can take up all these types of uh, initiatives and studies. There's another uh, area vertical is working in the in the name of Ayur Genomics as a center of excellence into IGIB Institute of Genomics and Integrative Biology in Delhi. And this Ayur Genomics vertical is working on uh, on impact of prakriti 
and uh, microbiome uh, uh, assessment on ayurvedic principles and practices so we we found some very good evidences about that my request to all vice chancellors really? yes my best request to all vice chancellors through this platform is please look at this possibility there is a huge possibility of science behind all these things thank you thank you professor shrivastava please sir you are on mute you are on mute please unmute yourself thank you very much uh, uh my sincere greetings from uh, nehu shillong from the beautiful state of meghalaya uh, very, very briefly i think uh, i'll i'll just try to you know put my points uh, thanks to ayurveda charya vaidya rajesh kotechadi and aiu for this lovely you know platform uh, with the doctor series pai sabse pehle to mai ek prayer se shuru karunga lamba nahi sarve sangamya let all be free from illness so that's my prayer and of course very nicely you have articulated sir uh, kotechadi jai now do teen cheeze mai puchna chahunga quickly uh coming you know first of all i should compliment some of the studies which has been done by you know by your team and you know our uh, ayush and ayurveda charyas in the country and i was very impressed you know uh, to know about those molecular docking and in vivo in vitro studies etc etc i am from chemistry background and then uh, i in uh, your voice is not very clear acha is it is it okay now is it all right ha now it is okay keep the speaker in front is it okay yeah Okay, fine. So, uh, as I'm from chemistry background, and then uh, recently I shifted to nanobiotechnology kind of thing. So, you know what I found that uh, if you for that those uh, uh, some you know confocal microscopic studies are using photoluminescence material, if you can uh, also introduce, I mean, I'm I don't know, it might be being done, uh, but you know that way it can show very nice binding, you know, with the uh, with your uh, you know uh, those uh, uh, you know. Uh, antigens and things like that number one and secondly sir uh, i also you know uh, my family also had a strong my, my father and all they had good tradition of uh, this ayurvedic medicines and all and we have the original you know uh, those literature also in print 100 years old in my home here you know i'm talking about lahasa and uh, arist and all that in my humble view they are all basically nano medicines you know so you know these days actually what happens sometimes you have to go for scientific jargon jargon is not the negative sense for example if you say that okay we have found out the particle size using you know top uh, high end you know instruments like uh, transmission electron microscope sem all such studies if you do for such ayurvedic medicines you know so immediately the scientific community otherwise who are doubting uh, you know our best of intentions and efforts and studies you know they will immediately say okay bhai there are physical evidence there using uh, such uh, you know top end instrumentation you know sophisticated instrumentation so there are several you know saf sophisticated analytical instrumentation facility available in different regions of our nation so iit hai ic bangalore hai aur bhi cbri hai you know in lucknow so i think usme karne se bhi acha lagega and then and then secondly those all those bioactive you know those components which are there in different sources of the medicine uh, wo, uh, the plants and all जैसे उसका थोड़ा एन एम आर कर लिया थोड़ा और भी जो स्टडीज कर लिया सो यू नो दैट ब्रिंग्स इन इंस्ट्रूमेंट एंड देन एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ मिलीनियम ऑफ इयर्स दैट इज ऑलरेडी देयर सो ये मैं एक सजेशन सजेशन का मतलब देना चाहूंगा एंड ऑफ कोर्स आई फुल्ली एग्री दैट इट्स अ हार्ड कोर साइंस आयुर्वेदा इज हार्ड कोर साइंस एंड सेकंडली सर आई वुड लाइक टू कांग्रेचुलेट टू आई वाज जस्ट सीइंग द डाटा आई हैव हैड नोटेड डाउन दैट 94% ऑफ पीपल हु हैड देन आयुर्वेदा स्टैंड अलोन ट्रीटमेंट they have you know they were fully treated and regained their strength i'd say highly uh, commendable and i'm proud of my country and the people like you and your team uh, for uh, such uh, you know fantastic uh, study and uh, finally one brief intervention please ma'am see uh, you say i am from northeastern region and i just put a chat message about kachi haldi now this kachi haldi i took from meghalaya and it has been you know Uh, established that this has the best curcumin content in the whole country or maybe in the world i don't know matlab but you know normal haldi has 3 to 4% this is 8 9% other and other bioactive things and believe me i suffered you know, when i was tested positive even before that and my wife was we had been taking kachi haldi only and of course the initial 3 4 days you know those uh, allopathic things we did, did but our maintenance of our health and rejuvenation that came from that i think so you know so such things should be promoted and lastly about the tribal medicine you no know, 
you know, which is especially in northeastern region or maybe some other parts, uh, uh, and you know, like uh, from Himalayan region and South Indian region and Western Ghats and all, and, and tribal medicine, especially from northeastern indigenous, the medical practice knowledge has, that also I think has to be given a push. So that's what I just wanted to share with you all. And sir, if, if any remark, especially about Kachi Haldi or in general, whatever I've said about tribal medicine and all that. Uh, from uh, our uh, professor Sivantoji, uh, uh, professor yes, Sivantoji, thank you for this, and I can see the passion, passion. You know, you are passionate, so thank you for that, sir. Kachi Haldi ke baare mein main bhi janta hu, and uh, uh, I will request you to send us, you know, more details so that you know we can uh, work together. This is the first time Kachi Haldi ki baat kar. Laka dong. This is my first, uh, by my first, uh, you know, reply. In nano medicines, there are you know a lot of work going on on nano medicines. We sir, all know sir, yes, that in, in Ayurveda, there is a uh, there is a whole area of basmas. Rasa basmas. Oh, the basmas, sir, yeah, basmas, yeah, yeah. basmas yeah. are prepared, and then 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 now we have strong evidence is that basma mm -hmm. are nothing but converting these very, uh, very you know, combinations into nano medicines, and in a mm -hmm. very small dose it works. And we have a lot of safety studies available for basmas. So this is an another area that that can be you know looked at by from. Chemistry perspectives like experts like you that I I will request you to look at that and I agree with all of your suggestions, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, especially Bhaskar, I just say the nano particle size, etc. If we can tell the you know the, the scientific community that this is the particle size, and as we all know that when you go to the nano you know uh, scale, sir. properties change or they get enhanced a lot, you know. Sir, sir, we are in a we are in a phase of public publishing you know a lot of compilation and uh, uh, you know a compendium of such research researches that i will i will be able to send you over and there are lot of lot of you know evidences about that sir yeah thank you sir thank you sir namaskar dhanyawad sir we are aware of your time but uh, yes. now you told us that you are the gc member of you were the gc member of aiu so we feel as a family so <laughs> can i take 5 minutes more sir two quick questions will take this. no problem madam no problem i will okay. be happy to do professor mahendra reddy Yeah, sir, uh, I'll be very brief. First of all, thank you for your excellent lecture. This is in continuation of what Madam has asked for specific immunity for COVID. Does yoga or pranayam help, or haldi milk also help for the specific immunity for COVID, not the general immunity? Thank you, sir. Doctor Reddy ji, uh, it is it is a difficult question because when we talk about the science, uh, I should not say yes or no. but i should mention some of the evidences yes that uh, um, uh, all these all these modalities yog and all different candidates and medicines and lifestyle they are primarily you know working as a rasayana uh, of uh, uh, principles of ayurveda talks about rasayana hey, rasayana hey. is primarily uh, talking about and mentioning about host defense mechanism so Uh, it is not specific, but it it actually it is like a guard standing in outside of our home and prevents anybody to enter. And uh, I I want to mention one of the one of the you know study that that we, that explains how the science works. That uh, we had uh, you know a, uh, can can you mute your mic, uh, Professor uh, V C S A P Tumkur University? Up, up now, mic, एक बार वो mute कर देंगे please. Yes. So uh, I would like to mention this study about Amla ki Amla. We know about Amla. Yes. Uh, so yes. Amla was studied for uh, you know for its effect on uh, on the DNA damages. So there is a lot of study available, clinical study and immunomodulatory etc. But this study was very specific on uh, in a, in a animal experiment that uh, first liver cells damaged the DNA of, of liver cells were damaged and then uh, Amla ki rasayan is a preparation made from Amla was was you know given to them for three months and then. after 3 months the important observation was that uh, there was a significant uh, depairing of the dna damages you know into the cells it's not just other uh, pathology but it is very important that they actually reversal of dna damages so this is a specific rasayana effect and it works it works invariably and we have found like in our uh, our population based study where the total number of uh, population we have covered is 1 million actually in different studies we have studied on 1 million people in containment zones we found all of these studies on different candidates homeopathic candidates siddha candidates yunani ayurveda different candidates but observation is common that all of these studies have were able to see have able to show us that as compared to the control group these these uh, prophylaxis candidates were able to reduce the 
chance of infection by at least three times less. At least there are more, but minimum is three times. It shows that it actually works. And then you know uh, when we talk about the specific immunity, we then we we talk about the vaccine, and we talk about the specific immunity. We talk about those types of you know very fine work which 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 is you know very. Uh, very well, very well studied on on the on the you know mechanics of of those candidates. But I want to mention that recently one of the startup of India have have, have declared uh, have in, uh, announced one of the you know angel investor of, of uh, Indian origin company have have declared that they are going to invest 400 crore rupee on ashwagandha as an adjuvant to vaccine. So ashwagandha is is now if we have proof of concept. There are patents also. That ashwagandha can be used as an adjuvant to vaccine for the immunogenicity. So those kind of you know high high level of studies are going on, but uh, I cannot say in a in a in a you know yes or no manner, sir. In in, in reply of your question, thank you. Similarly, haldi milk also. Yes, haldi milk actually it is our tradition, it is our heritage, and now all over the world it is it is it is available as as you know as a golden milk, golden latte. And uh, golden latte, yeah. And then you can find in you know find it in all coffee shops, you know, even cafe cafe coffee day or or this uh, you know in American coffee channel uh, coffee. I forgot the brand, but they also have this in all over all across the world. They are selling this healthy milk. So healthy milk also has a lot of studies. So I'm I'm not uh, um, I'm not uh, you know showing I'm not mentioning all of these studies, but it is found that healthy is one of the one of the candidate where. Uh, you can uh, practice in in Gujarati. I'm from Gujarat. So in Gujarati, it it is there is a proverb says that uh, if if you if you if you are not Vaidya, you you can practice Ayurveda with only these two candidates. Only one is salt, that is ginger. Another is haldi. So salt and haldi can 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 help in more than seventy percent of different clinical conditions. Thank haldi you. can be taken in water also. No? Yes, haldi ka ek hai, Dr. Sir. Haldi is actually the curcumin of haldi, which is clinically effective. It is not absorbable in 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 a, in, a, in a, uh, as it is. It is it only gets absorbed if, if it is given in oil media, oil uh, oil media. इसलिए हल्दी को हम घी में या दूध में देते हैं. घी में सेक करके लेते हैं तो पानी से ले सकते हैं. But otherwise, why it is more effective in with milk because it there is some sneha, some oil, some ghee inside uh, the milk. Then it, it gets more absorption into our gut. Our gut. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Lastly, Thank sir, you. Professor Siddhagoda, and then I will request Professor Thiruvasagam to say a few words, and then we will answer. Professor Siddhagoda, please. Uh, na na namaskar, Vaidya ji. Namaskar. You are for your uh, insightful talk on Ayurveda. Uh, really, that your uh, one of the slides that gave us that the corona. Treatment to the tune of 95 percent. Really, actually, that Ayurveda is uh, born with the Indian culture. Why that we have not been able to popularize? We are hanging around that the allopathy and other uh, this thing. That why this thing? This uh, AU is taking that all measures. <laughs> to popularize that uh, uh, the quality education in and all these things that awareness also i think pankaj ji under uh, uh, the dynamic leadership of our uh, designated person and uh, the general secretary i hope that uh, uh, the, uh, there should be a, a column in the au newsletter uh, to popularize the various uh, this thing that really that uh, covid that 90 more than 95% That uh, uh, the treatment that uh, proved uh, that uh, uh, okay. Then why that uh, we have not been able to popularize this uh, high time uh, to take that the measures in that direction to uh, popularize that Ayurveda in all the frontiers. That's my that's the problem. Thank you very much. Very insightful talk. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Siddhar Gowda ji. Actually, I, uh, I I agree with you that uh, it is uh, it it needs more popularization. But I I want to put this on record that uh, uh, since 2014, uh, in last last uh, six plus years, the yeah. budget of Ayush sector uh, when it became ministry, the budget was only 700 crore. 
yeah. uh, in the center. Now it is three thousand crore. So in 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 less than seven years, it went up to more than four times. But still, still it is much less than the mainstream health. And and I am sure that once this integrative policy comes in force, which is being made by Niti Aayog, there will be huge change. This is one thing. Another thing is very interesting for the honourable vice chancellors uh, who is participating here, that these solutions are so cheap, so yeah. so so cheap that uh, that you know it, it do not attract the big investors, big pharmaceutical corporations because it it do not make them money. Uh, like this, IU sixty four for twenty days course, it costs only two hundred twenty two hundred twenty rupee for twenty days. Yes. So, so it is unbelievable that where people pays lakhs of rupees and it can be helped in just two hundred twenty rupees. So, because it is very very cheap and not not very costly, this is also one of the reason why why you know it is not being so much of because when there is money, everything grows. When there is no money, nothing grows. But uh, this this barrier we are going. Going to cross, as I mentioned, that forty-five um, percent uh, growth in manufacturing sector is is uh, is unbelievable, and our size is it became ten billion dollar, which which is also never happened. And uh, we if we add service industry, the size of uh, IU sector is hundred fifty thousand crore, which 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 became like uh, three times in in six years. So three years pehle uh, se abhi me fifty thousand crore ka abhi ek dead lakh crore ho gaya. So, so it means that uh, things are going. It will take some time, but it is in right direction, sir. Thank you. But we have to achieve this part. <laughs> yes, sure, sir. Sure, sir. But we are we are going to that direction. We need your help, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, one last question. The, the, we have Dr. Narendra Rustogi with is with us. He is from Harvard University in Washington D.C. He you just answered about the taking healthy with uh, some ghee. So he is saying in Western countries, low fat milk is there. Is it okay to take it with low fat milk, or we should take it with full cream milk? Uh, you know, if if we we really want to take it, take healthy for the therapeutic purposes, you know, therapeutic purposes like uh, some for some medical health benefit, then it is good that uh, we roast healthy in ghee at our home. And this 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 roasted ghee um, healthy roasted with ghee can be taken with water or can can be taken with low fat because it is already processed and. And and prepared in a way that it gets more absorption. So this is the best thing to do. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for answering the questions beautifully. It was really good, sir. Sir, would you like to say something, Professor Thiruvasiva? Yes, certainly. Doctor Vaithya Rajesh, uh, your presentation really eye opener to all the educationists like us. AU is going to publish in the YouTube as well. the people who are not present today are also going to be get very bit out of it okay first of all one compliment to you uh, i have seen uh, see uh, bureaucrats becoming vice chancellors whereas in your case you know vice chancellor <laughs> uh, become the the uh, bureaucrats really it's a good thing i congratulate you as well and uh, my two questions are there see basically what i did you know i am taking the kavasakudi neer three times in a week and i am asking my family members and my friends also to take kavasakudi neer regularly i have a statistics the people who are regularly taking kavasakudi neer almost 95 percentage they are not affected by corona that's number one and as asked by our fellow vice chancellor siti kauda as vice chancellors we have to create awareness among our own students and the faculty first what i did it was about to close all our institutions as per the government order during the month of march before closing i have distributed cover kavasa kudini to all my students of around 5000 and my faculty and non teaching staff as well and requested them to continue in their own places really it gives very big support health support to all of us it is for information i think hopefully the by chance who are listening they have to start the charity from their home and we can think about that that's number one and number two even after knowing not only vice chancellor the government the leaders the ministers of both the central and they know petrol state government they know mortality rate is very less when they go for a ayurvedic treatment 
and post covid treatment pcr test also 99% negative it's advantage one even the feedback obtained from 149000 people also shows 90% very positive and one more information yesterday i read it in the paper around 731 medical doctors died died as per the indian medical association because they were involved in covid treatment but there is no single casualty as far as the vaidya or doctors of ayurvedic they have faced this much of casualty so these are all the advantages even after knowing that why my question may be very critical i don't know how far you are comfortable to answer my question why as an example as a model our leaders our ministers are not going to the hospital ayurvedic whenever they are affected instead of going to the allopathic hospital uh, allopathy hospitals that too not the government hospital they prefer to go to the private hospital so the awareness should start from the leaders that's most important hopefully we will be doing lot of awareness not only among the people among the leaders among the rulers as well that will give you a lot of understanding and basically i am not uh, my background is either uh, not uh, like ramesh goyal of a uh, is a medical doctor or uh, uh, dr srivastava background is science i because i am very much concerned about ayurveda i am preaching and practicing ayurveda it is our kind information sir and the last question what about the treatment for the post covid i know patient treatment no they when they come out what way this ayurveda is going to help if at all they have taken treatment the allopathy hospital after coming out from the treatment what kind of treatment the ayurveda they can take it these are all the questions to be answered by vaidya rajesh sir uh, thank you professor thiru vasagam ji actually um, i i appreciate your critical question also and i will be happy to answer that question first sir and first, uh, thank you for this compliment because you said charity begins at begins at home so this is this is actually true and uh, i request all of the vice chancellors to do something into their campuses uh, your question was why as uh, you know uh, our leaders and our you know uh, big people who who gets you know infection of covid they go to the hospitals of allopathic actually you can see that you know the covid has a big big panic in our mindsets all over all over the world and uh, covid has a mortality also because you know, so many people died so it is normal uh, from the human psychology perspective it is normal to to rush it is normal it is nobody's fault it is not only big people everybody uh, who has this covid they 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 pass through this trauma of you know fear of death and uh, it uh, and then at that time you know they they would they would think that we should we should go for the you know best available option so that we are saved so it is none of nobody's fault i i would say it is none of none of none of nobody's fault your another question sir is post covid post covid uh, you know um, months back in the month of month of november uh, government of india uh, we worked with health ministry and then there is an integrative guideline came out from the health ministry this integrative guideline is incorporating yoga and ayurveda into this post covid management and this integrative guideline talks about specific yoga pranayam ashwagandha chavan prash haldi uh, all guduchi giloy kabasura pudini this is all there and there is a specific exercise about uh, how to come out from the lung injury is also mentioned there it is very detailed it is available on health ministry's website so its integrative care is there now um, we have advised our all ayurvedic colleges and ayush colleges including siddha colleges to when when the when they start operations you know after after second wave they should all start post covid uh, you know management facility into their hospitals and we have, we have sent them advisories and guidelines also how to how to do that so that is also uh, being done thank you sir and thank you for giving me this opportunity sir thank you sir thank you very much for so patiently answering all the questions and being with us throughout we know that we have overshot too much i will uh, more than 34 minutes we have overshot so thank you sir thanks once again and we'll be in touch with you sir and uh, alok ji you will be giving a formal vote of thanks thank you um, on behalf of uh, aiu and myself i thank uh, uh, dr vadya 
Rajesh Kotoja ji. Uh, sir, uh, really, sir was very busy and uh, like uh, in Vijay Shubhul, sir, share his expertise and clarify all our doubts. I received a very prompt confirmation from the sir. And even then I just dropped a message uh, to his office and sir was personally just a message about his confirmation and morning we discussed. So sir was so humble, so kind. And sir was really, uh, he was happy that AI was conducting such a program. So uh, sir, so just, just kind gesture, sir, the way sir shows really, uh, we really touched. Sir, especially special thanks to sir. And really the staff of the secretary office, Ayush, uh, especially I would like to uh, Dinesh ji and uh, the OSG to the, uh, Shumit, uh, to the secretary, uh, Shumit Goyal ji. All in them, basically, uh, they are in touch and formalizing the whole thing. And uh, you know that the programs when designed, that's the whole team involved. And uh, this program, this series is going on. And uh, as mentioned, uh, already Madam mentioned that uh, today, this, uh, this is the last, this, 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 uh, this series is going to be in today. Um, but uh, is, uh, but uh, we, uh, the, the way we received the, really the moral support, uh, we really think a lot and we, we plan for that on further thing, for the topics. Uh, thanks, sir, for gesture. And I thank all Honorable Vice Chancellor, really in the whole series were present there. Too many names, really, it's very difficult to, uh, to call in. Uh, Professor Goel, sir, Professor Reska Silvastro, sir, Athil Wisdom, sir. And that is, it may be, you know, that from we have more than 800 Vice Chancellor that. And the, those are very busy in office, but definitely the way the enthusiasm really, uh, they really, uh, just to, to join and really to encourage us. Really, sir, uh, I want to thank uh, all of you. Officials from the various ministries uh, also join and they also mention, don't mention my name anyhow. And, uh, and this thing, and a special thanks I received today with the uh, IAS officer, Gujarat Kader Alok Pandeji, who is a DM of the Junagar and is a commissioner of SS, uh, commissioner of MSME also. So thanks to Kutuja sir for this informative lecture and he was really uh, uh, full to, uh, to them with the thanks and this is a, uh, to you, uh, for you. And also the SME, uh, this uh, 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 one also I got a message, uh, especially the, who attend all session also, Vinay uh, uh, Kumarji also, advisor uh, SME Chamber of Commerce uh, also, and the governing body of Delhi, uh, Delhi University. They all expressed for the message. And Deepak Kumar is a fertilizer ministry that is the senior assistant secretary there. He's also uh, passed the message. And some official from President of India office also designed this silently. So I, I would like people are really uh, find very interesting and different way how uh, we receive the message. We are uh, also observing and seeing the activity and how things are going on. So really it's, it's, it's a boost our morale. And uh, you know, we uh, thanks to, uh, you know, though our Elect President Kandal, uh, uh, Dr. G. Phil Nizam, sir. Uh, sir, is constant encouragement. I just you heard about, sir, that's, that's a very clear and that's to like clearly army touch. So, sir, was mentioning that's to, as a vice chancellor, come to bureaucrat uh, for, sir. And, sir, like from army, that's to background to come, just to, in the, in the academics, very few that. So, uh, really, the, the way our uh, president, the vice president support, and that was really, it was very important, Sajim Rugam. And uh, we, we really, uh, uh, we all know that's behind all that is architect and behind all and who's really inspired as our dynamic uh, secretary general, Madam. Gratitude to Madam, um, sorry, Madam uh, Dr. Pankaj Mittal, Madam. For constant, uh, you know, that uh, Madam is so enthusiastic and uh, guiding for framing the events uh, for the betterment of the universities. Uh, so that's how can, what can you do the best so this is a this difficult time, but we really to uh, try to bring up the best two in the country to uh, to discuss uh, and to uh, really uh, not only discuss to really to to really to uh, to frame something and to find out new direction. Thank you, madam. That is a uh, we need more again. Well, uh, we always want your uh, support for these things. And thank you to all official of you know that uh, like uh, people coming in front, but so all the moral support of officers, of senior officers. Our my colleague, uh, you know that Baljit Seko, even that he's uh, he's ill, but the country is calling, supporting. This this things matter basically. It is not only to doing something, 
so uh, dr amrin pani ji dr rama pani ji divyu singh ji uh, the, the senior officials are there in the office they all basically it is the behind but they all support and put the more, uh, just to some moral support and a special support up to all like sunam dichit ji from it department uh, who is really supporting our all all the we will so feel free that so uh, thank you shivam ji i think is listening that and uh, our deputy director our colleague dr uh, kuldeep dagar ji uh, uh, deputy secretary here and this all all is basically up to the event and before the event they all send messages so these these things are very important uh, mr satyapal ji and uh, mr vijendra ji and mr um, uh, madam rekha ji and uh, too many name that uh, as uh, uh, that who from office is continuously the support so i i would like to uh, thanks again to all of all of you i would like to extend thanks to the officials of uh, you know that uh, who really uh, from ministry side also supporting a different way we are going through definitely a difficult time but we trying to make it easy and to involve and um, so all is possible because of the uh, secretary madam i really say that's because you know that if the higher authority support then then we really uh, uh, are vision we are hand only so it's it's really madam and we are really that already madam mentioned that uh, uh, we we are uh, framing uh, the new series very soon we will announce uh, this thing and um, i we hope for the best this uh, not knowing if we want to three and the, another way so i think uh, uh, this is the god with us and you know uh, we all aware about it ki raat jati hai suraj nikalta hai aur hum आगे बढ़ते हैं तो ये अधेरा जो है वो छटेगा हम आगे बढ़ेंगे और कंधे से कंधा मिला के आगे चलेंगे हम इन्हीं शुभकामनाओं के साथ आप सबका हृदय से आभार व्यक्त करते हैं और हम चाहते हैं कि आपका सहयोग यही कंधा हमेशा मिलता रहे जिससे हम देश में उत्कृष्ट तौर पर विश्वविद्यालय की रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इज अ प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया मैं इज रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ इंडिविजुअल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी नॉट कॉर्पोरेट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इज है रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ यूनिवर्सिटी इज नॉट ओनली टू एजुकेशन we come to know that how the really health affected the whole system even then we have a good, very good faculty very good uh, classroom and all but health is a health is a, is a at most is a, is a paramount consideration so definitely we, we maybe that uh, health uh, health education may be one wing that's the way how to really uh, in industries also it's important so uh, thanks to everyone again or hum kandhe ke us kandhe ke aage intezar karte rahenge वो गंदा हमें मिलता रहे और हम आगे बढ़ते रहे नमस्कार थैंक यू सर थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक्स एंड थैंक्स टू ऑल द वाइस चांसलर फॉर जॉइनिंग एंड सब को धन्यवाद बहुत बहुत अच्छा थैंक यू आइए अंधेरे में चलें थैंक यू सर नमस्कार थैंक यू सर सर्वभद्राण पश्चिम